You know, you'd think they'd feed someone who just got stabbed something better than some rubber eggs. Which is why we brought you donuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zoe paid for half. She feels horrible for what happened. Why? She didn't stab me. Oh, how'd you know chocolate dip is my favorite? <laughs> I think we got you in trouble. Oh, don't play me like that, Rhonda. You know you love me. <laughs> How you feeling, man? Sore. But the doc says they'll be good to go home in a couple days. Why can't we just tell the cops with Damon so they can arrest him? Snitches get stitches, Blondie. I thought he was your friend. But then his family moved to another block, and he got caught up with some bad dudes. I can't talk. Only make things worse. So you told the cops you got jumped by some random? Exactly. And your guys talking payback? You don't need to concern yourself with any of that. Oh, we should get to school. Don't want to be later. Scary Miss Pillow nails with attention. Ah, be gentle. Right. <laughs> Novak, my man. You gotta chill. Everything's gonna be fine. You sure about that? Okay, a large non-fat latte and a decaf cappuccino on the house. Oh, this is a perk I can get used to. I'll text you later about this afternoon. Mm, no cell phones, remember? So, how are we supposed to make plans? The old-fashioned way. I'll stop by after your shift, and I have a spare last period anyway. Can't wait. We're gonna rock this. Mm. High-fiving over a date. You two have always been the weirdest couple. Not a date, birthing class, and we high-fived because that's what strictly platonic co-parents do. Claire, I love you, but you're delusional. How so? Because you and Eli will never be friends. It's just not possible. Thanks for your support. Well, if history is any indication, you two are like magnets. You get in each other's orbits and... Smash. It's inevitable. Well, it can't be. Not this time. <sighs> hey, did you remember to set the DVR to record the new Game of Thrones? I don't know. Daenerys better get to King's Landing this week. It's taking forever. <sighs> What's up? You're all far away. I feel like it's my fault. What, Tiny? It's like, that's crazy. But he jumped in to help me. Damon was being a creep. You were defending Zoe. How were you supposed to know that he had a knife? I'm pissed, okay? I, I want to do something. I want to get back at those guys. You can't, right? You know that. It's just not fair. Tiny still lives in a neighborhood where anything can happen. Meanwhile, I get to live with you and, and basically be part of your family. And Tiny wouldn't want you to jeopardize that by doing something stupid. This sucks. Maybe you need something else during the week. You could always audition for the school musical. That's not going to make Tiny unstabbed. I know, but it's worth a try. I'm just a lab tech, Ella. I can't stop the evil Mayor Lucius Geronimo from destroying the city. If only I knew who Captain Who really was. Whenever you are close to me, I want to kiss your lips. But until I know the real you, I have to resist. Can you ever love? Show me who you are. That was great, super cute, but let's try it again. The scene is supposed to crackle with romantic tension. Remember, Ella Elliot is in love with Captain Who, having no idea that he's actually her best friend, Simon Who. So, like this? <laughs> no PDA, remember? I think in this context, it's totally fine. <laughs> Straight from the mouth of our wise student advisor. I think we have a pretty good idea of what Lola can do. Then that's a wrap on girls' auditions. Tomorrow it's the guys. I think I'm mighty impressed you're at the whole musical by yourself. So, how was I? We'll make our decision soon, but between you and me, you're a shoo in. <laughs> okay, let's not go writing checks or butts gang cash, Frankie. All right, let me show you this. <clears throat> Why are you being so weird? Lola was awesome. Can you keep a secret? When I want to. I kissed Lola. Or she kissed me. It's all a blur. All I know is that it was a giant mistake. <laughs> it 
That's not funny. You're an idiot. I know. What do I do? Oh, geez. I have no idea. Sorry. Did your boy get my get well flowers? What's your problem? Go on. I'll take care of you the way I took care of your boy. Come on. That's what I thought. Auditioning for the musical. Good luck with that. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. But if you get the part, I guess you're gonna have to cut all the sleeves off your costumes. Watch your mouth, rich boy. What's your damage? You are! Novak! Stop! Get out of here. What was that all about? I lost my temper. Is this because of Tiny? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Because money bags isn't the one who stabbed him. Yeah, I know that, but I can't do anything about the guy who did do it. You gotta sort yourself out, Novak. That kind of anger is poisonous. It just leads to more anger. You gotta find a way to break the cycle. We are totally gonna get an A. I don't think that's how this works. Pregnant goddesses. I am honored to be a guide for you and your partners as you move through your pregnancy towards a peaceful, powerful, and beautiful birthing experience. Welcome. Oh no, I think I signed us up for a birthing class in the 60s. I'm into it, where are my crystals? I like to begin each class with an affirmation. Birthing partners, turn to the mother of your child and affirm to her your love and your belief in her capability to undertake this challenge ahead. It's okay, you don't have to. Claire, I'm not gonna be responsible for your first failing grade. Claire Edwards, you are the most incredible person I've ever met. And I know this isn't how you plan for things to go, and I know it's scary, but I feel really lucky to be part of this journey with you. I love you, and I'll, I'll always be here for you no matter what. Namaste. Okay, I definitely think Lola's the right choice for Ella Elliot. I don't know, she sounded a little pitchy. Isn't she a little pitchy? She sounds pretty great to me. I just think there were stronger choices. Like Shay. Were we watching the same auditions? I love Shay, but the girl is tone deaf. I just think Lola's too short. I know what's going on here. You don't like Lola. Yeah. Something about her just rubs me the wrong way. But she's my friend. And it's important to me that you like my friends and that you want to cast them in our musical. Sorry, Franks. Lola's just the worst. She's so, you know, the worst. But you haven't even given her a chance. I know what needs to happen. Why do I feel like you're gonna say we all need to hang out together? Because we all need to hang oh. out together. As soon as you see how awesome Lola is, you'll totally be down with casting her in Captain Who. <laughs> hey, Miles. Find someone else to go postal on. I'm not really in the mood. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have freaked out at you like that. I'm going through some stuff right now, and I took it out on you. So we're cool? <clears throat> well, I don't think we'll be getting lunch anytime soon, but yeah, we're cool. Novak, this is bad. 
What are you talking about? People are chirping online, saying there's going to be some sort of retaliation tomorrow night for what happened to Tiny at that basketball court behind St. Francis. But Tiny said his guys were chill. Believe me when I say they are not. How do you even know this with the cell phone ban? I have my ways, and that's all you're getting out of me. It sounds serious. You have to do something. With me? I, I, can't, I can't. Why not? I can't risk getting involved. And besides, what about all that crap you said about stopping the cycle of violence and anger? Forget what I said. Zig, if you don't do something, someone could get killed. Good luck with your musical audition today. Thanks. You don't think me auditioning for the musical is the dumbest idea you've ever heard, right? No way. I think it's the perfect thing to keep yourself busy. What's up with you? Being weird. It just doesn't feel right with all this stuff going on. Sick. Tiny's gonna be okay. You're gonna rock your audition and everything's gonna be fine. You know what? Thank you. For what? I don't know. Everything. Housing me. Keeping me out of trouble. Not giving up on me. Never gonna happen. I wish Tiny had a mind. I, he'd have to get his own. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, he has you. You're not so bad. is like everything you're wearing. I know, isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's pretty great. I know. <gasps> Cranberry muffin, I could kiss you. Isn't he the best? Without your boss Zoe to keep me honest, I can kiss my no-carb diet goodbye. <laughs> Did you forget my coffee? Sorry, I'll be right back. No, I'll go. You two stay and chat. Stop saying kiss. I'm sorry, it just keeps coming out of my lips. And stop saying lips. We're screwed. Neither of us is discreet enough to pull this off. And she totally wants to cast you in the musical. I know, isn't that awesome? Focus! Do you really think that's a good idea? Us spending that much time together? Kissing on stage? Exactly. How could I have been such an idiot? Maybe we should just come clean. No, that is not an option. I can't lose Frankie. Besides, do you want to hurt your friend like that? No, I love her. That'd be awful. Okay, we just need a good enough reason not to cast you in Captain Who. <sighs> Damon. We need to talk. We shouldn't be seen together. You know school's in neutral territory. Yeah, I don't care. I just want to shut this down before anyone else gets hurt. So your boy gets a paper cut, and all of a sudden you want to hold peace talks? A paper cut? You put him in the hospital! He had it coming. Boy was pissing me off. Listen, man, I've been hearing rumblings, all right? The guys from my block, they're not happy. They're talking retaliation. <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Yeah, it should. <laughs> you know that basketball court behind St. Francis where you guys play? Yeah. I wouldn't show up there tonight if I were you. Look, man, someone steps to me, I gotta step back. You know what, I'm sick of that crap. And I'm not playing by your stupid rules anymore. You threatening me? No, I'm warning you, there's a trap. Just don't show up. Or else who knows what's gonna happen. So, I was birth in class with your totally platonic co-parent. Watch any upsetting videos? Eli told me he'd always be there for me. And that's a problem. Why? Because when he said that, I wanted to kiss him. No, I don't want to say I told you so. No, Ali, this is really bad. We can't get back together. Why not? Because it's not just going to be us in the picture anymore. But you love him. You can't just take that out of the equation. And this is coming from someone that doesn't even like the guy all that much. I need to set some boundaries so we don't slip into old habits. So what? You're just going to tell him not to do anything that makes you want to kiss him? Yeah, if I have to. The monster underneath your bed The creature lurking in the dark Better listen to what your mama said You know my bite is worse than my bark I'm the thing that goes bump in the night The thing that makes
makes your children cry It's no use in putting up a fight Say hello to the bad guy Say hello to the bad guy Say hello to your biggest fear Say hello to the bad guy You should believe everything you hear Balls. You even hit the high note. Well, I, uh, I had a great coach. So how do you feel? Uh, like, this might actually work. Come on. Where are we going? The pay phones so we can call my mom. When she hears how well your audition went, she's totally gonna take us for Chinese buffet. Uh, who knew James Dean could sing? Sig? Yeah, he was awesome, but there's still no one better than Lola for Ella Elliot. I still don't think that's a good idea. Well, you really hate Lola so much you won't even consider it? I don't hate Lola, I swear. Then what's the problem? I want you to play Ella Elliot. Me? Why? I don't want to kiss anyone else. It was just acting. Well, it doesn't matter. Besides, you were the inspiration for the character all along. You can totally do it. That's sweet, but I'm directing. Well, someone else can direct. Someone like Imogen. Well, I don't really have any experience. So what? I know you can sing. What do you think, Imogen? Um... I can't promise I'm not gonna make some really weird choices. <laughs> Deal. Okay. This is gonna be awesome. Maybe my dream of performing with MPH at the Tonys isn't so crazy after all. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? Thanks for coming. Are you okay? We need some rules here. I don't follow. We need to set some boundaries. Oh, I thought we were doing pretty well. Birthing class was awesome. Exactly. Too awesome. Claire. Rule one, no telling me you love me or how amazing you think I am or how much you support me. But I do. That's never going to change. Two. No looking at me that way you do that turns me into a pile of mush. What, so I can't even look at you now? That's gonna make things pretty difficult. Three, no saying the exact thing I need to hear at the exact moment I need to hear it. And four, no physical contact of any kind. Claire, I'll obey any rule you want. What are you so scared of? Thanks for dinner, Miss Fowler. My pleasure. Oh. I am so proud of you, Zig. Even though I got cast as the evil Lucius Geronimo. I will have you know that he's the third biggest part in the school musical. Oh, I'm so full. I shouldn't have eaten the entire creme brulee. <laughs> yeah, and half of my tiramisu. Ah. Maya! Oh my god. Zig, call 911. how I planned for that to go. Do you regret it? No. We can't just pretend that things haven't happened. Everything's changed. I hurt you. I know that. Do you remember the last time we were happy together? I'm happy right now. Are you? Things haven't been perfect, and they never will be. But I don't know any other way to be other than with you. I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. Hey. Where are you? With you. I'm right here. Detective Robbins just needs to ask you both a couple of questions. But I don't know anything. We're not saying you do. We just want to find whoever did this. We were out for dinner when we got home. It was just like this. And was anything taken? Other than the TV, uh, 
I don't know. I haven't had a chance to check. Well, it looks like a standard break and enter. Unless you can think of any reason someone would do this. No, not at all. All right. Well, get in touch if you find anything taken. Or if you think of anything we should know.